Hi everyone, it's Lauren Day Makeup and welcome to this celebrity crush tag. Well, I was tagged by one of my best friends here on YouTube, NYC Georgette, to do the celebrity crush tag. As soon as I saw her tweet of the celebrity crush tag, I was like, oh my god, this tag is so for me because you guys know I'm obsessed with celebrities. So, uh, just to also explain, my hair is in curl rehab, so no need to post any comments below about what the hell's going on with my hair. Just watch my recent curl rehab video. Okay, so let's get straight into the questions. So the first question is, who was your young celebrity crush? Well, uh, this is so easy because I had lots of celebrity crushes when I was young. I was in love with Christian Bauer from the movie News Boys. I was in love with Devin Sauer after I saw him in um, Final Destination and The Night of the Twisters. And I was, I just loved so many young boys when I was growing up and when I was a teenager, like Jonathan Taylor Thomas from um, Home Improvement, you know, all those boys, but there was one boy in particular that I was in love with and that was um, Jonathan Jackson. He played Lucky on General Hospital and my sister and I first discovered Jonathan Jackson when we watched the movie Camp Nowhere. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's one of my all-time favourite childhood movies. I love Camp Nowhere. I swear I've seen it like 50 times. And we saw that movie and we're like, oh my god, we love Jonathan Jackson and then we started watching General Hospital and we were addicted to General Hospital all throughout our high school years and we just have all... I I've always loved Jonathan Jackson ever since then. He was in a movie called Tuck Everlasting, which was amazing. And I wish he was in more things, you know, recently because I think he's an amazing actor and I really, really love um, Jonathan Jackson. Okay, so number two is your celebrity girl crush. Okay, so, well, this is easy. Um, okay, so my number one celebrity girl crush is obviously Mariah Carey, the love of my life. Everyone knows that I'm obsessed with Mariah Carey. But I kind of read this question, celebrity girl crush, as in a girl that you have a crush on. Like, I totally am obsessed with um, Amanda Seyfried. I love her from Dear John, Letters to Juliet. I just love Amanda. If I could have anybody's hair in the world, I would want Amanda Seyfried's hair. I just love her gorgeous blonde, kind of wavy hair. It's just amazing. Also, I love Mila Kunis. Oh my gosh. Ever, ever since I saw Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I was like, who is this girl? I'm in love with her. I remember her um, and Ashton Kutcher on um, that 70s show and she was amazing in Friends with Benefits. She's just such an amazing actress and I just really hope she's in more movies where she's the star of the movie because she's so amazing. So I love her. Also, I cannot forget Megan Fox. Oh my gosh, I love Megan Fox. Ever since Transformers and Transformers 2, I've been obsessed with <laughs> Megan Fox. Um, she'll probably have to be probably pretty high on my number one girl crush list, Megan Fox. I thought she was absolutely amazing in Transformers 2. Megan Fox is amazing in that movie and she has the most beautiful like cherry red lip gloss in that movie. Watch her cherry red lip gloss throughout that movie. She, it's pretty flawless. I mean, you know, she's running through, you know, different countries and everything, but her still, her lip gloss is still on perfectly. So I love Megan Fox. Um, I also love Vanessa Marshall. I love um, Denise Richards, Jenna Dwan. You know, there's so many girls that I love. Obviously, you know, I love Taylor Swift, Carrie Underwood, Christina Aguilera, you know, all of those. But definitely my, um, favourite girl crushes is Amanda Seyfried, Mila Kunis and um, Megan Fox. I just love those three girls. So they would be my celebrity girl crushes. Number three is celebrity crush over 40. This is this was actually hard. I was thinking about this and I was like, who's over 40? And then I thought to myself, I know two actors that are over 40 that I've been in love with for so long. One is Dean Cain. He is absolutely and utterly dreamy. And he's over 40 and he played, obviously, um, Superman or Lawson Clark. I love Dean Cain. He was also in a movie where he played a firefighter with um, Denise Richards. I can't remember the name of that movie, but it was like a TV movie. And, oh my God, if I owned that movie on DVD, I would be like the happiest girl in the world. I love that movie. Another actor that's over 40 that I love is Sonny from General Hospital, Maurice Bernard. Wow, for someone over 40, I think he's like 49, he's almost 50. He is like the hottest almost 50 <laughs> kind of guy that, uh, oh, he's just so dreamy, so hot. I love Sonny. And I've been watching General Hospital since I was like a teenager and now I'm like in my 30s. So like even back then he was gorgeous, but even now he's still absolutely and utterly gorgeous. And 
General Hospital actually shared a picture of him recently on their Facebook page and I swear I was staring at that picture for like at least a minute. I was like, wow, he has still got it. He is still sexy. So I love Maurice Bernard and I love Dean Kane. Okay, number four. This is a fun one. Boy band crush. Okay, so there's millions of boy bands that I love. I love music. I'm obsessed with music. So, of course, I have I mean, we've all gone through the boy band loving phase. Westlife, 911, Hanson, NSYNC, Boys to Men, you know, in 98 Degrees. But back in the day, boy bands were or you were just like the it thing. And if you didn't love a boy band, there was like something wrong with you. But um, when I was a teenager, and I've been a fan of these guys ever since their first single, and I'm still a fan to this day. And that is the the best, in my opinion, the best boy band that's ever lived is Backstreet Boys. I love Backstreet Boys. Kevin, Howie, Nick. AJ, Brian, oh my god, those guys are amazing. They're actually all, you know, men now with families and, um, you know, wives and, and, and they've got kids and it's like so amazing as a fan to have grown up with them since I was a teenager, you know, loving them as a boy band and now they're like got families and wives and like AJ's um, wife just had a baby, she's a makeup artist and she is so beautiful and it's so nice to see them. They all tweet regularly, they all update their Facebook, you know, the, the people behind the Backstreet Boys promotion are amazing and I love Backstreet Boys, I've seen them twice in concert and they're just amazing boy band. Other boy bands that were back around back in the day that you think that I might have been into, Boyzone, Take That, NKOTB. I never liked those three boys ba boy bands. I don't know why. I was never into Boyzone. I don't like Ronan Keating. Um, I never liked Robbie Williams. NKOTB, I don't know, it was just too young for me. I That was like the 80s and I was more a 90s baby. So I never got into them. And um, what was the other one I mentioned? Take That. I think Take That. I'll Take That had Robbie Williams. See, I don't even know. Take That had Robbie Williams. And that was kind of like a UK band that was kind of really big back then. But I never got into those three bands. But I generally loved the other bands that I mentioned at the beginning, like Boys to Men, Westlife, etc., etc. Okay, number five is Teenage Jailbait Crush. This is like a funny question. I'm like, how do I answer this? Okay, so probably now, even though I don't even think he's a teenager, please correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but um, my definitely my teenage jailbait crush now, having a crush on a younger guy, would definitely have to be Taylor Lutner. I'm team Jacob all the way and I love Taylor Lutner and um, he is uh, so dreamy. I love his movies. I've seen nearly all of his movies, even like his really young movies when he's a little kid, like Chief Butler Dozen 2. Uh, but he was great in Abduction. I loved that movie. And I'm, of course, I'm a Team Jacob fan, so I love Taylor Lutner. It's the only reason why I watch Twilight. I am not Team Bella in any way, shape or form. <laughs> and I love Edward and I love Rob Patterson. I love, it. I love Edward, but I'm always going to be Team Jacob. So if you're wondering, the unicorn necklace that I'm wearing in this video is by Aquarius Designs and I picked this up recently at a trip to Australia Zoo from Bindi's Pony Trails store. It was a really, really cute store and it had unicorns and ponies and horses. Um, so I picked up this little necklace, but it's by Aquarius Designs. So I love it. So the lipstick that I'm wearing in this video is Lime Crimes Coquette. I really love this lipstick. It's a gorgeous nude colour. It's really, really beautiful. Probably one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. And it is vegan and cruelty free. I love the Lime Crime lipsticks. I'll be doing an updated Lime Crime lipstick collection and swatches video for you guys as well. Um, but in the meantime, if you want to know more about Lime Crime lipsticks, um, not this one in particular, but Lime Crime lipsticks in general, I have two reviews on my channel that you can check out as well. So that was my celebrity crush tag. I'm tagging all of you guys to do this tag. It's such a fun tag. If you love celebrities, then please do this tag. Probably the number one person I'm going to be tagging in this video is Beauty Chaotic Live, Jackie. I think that your, your version of this celebrity crush tag would be so hilarious. And I'd love to know, obviously I already probably know who your boy band crush is, um, but I'd love to know your other crushes. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.